again. So, um, found another way of doing it. Um, just been searching on the internet. Oh, that's cool. So here we go. Here's another one then. So go to Edit Poly. It's similar to the last one. So I'm going to select uh, one point. I'm going to hit the chamfer tool and basically chamfer it. Okay, we'll actually make a smaller one this time. All right, and then we're going to go and do that cutting again, but we're actually going to use our brain this time. So under snapping, I'm going to put a midpoint on, which will help. So that will give my cuts in the midpoint and vertex. I'm going to snap to vertex and midpoints. Okay, and then we're going to go hit the cut tool again. And now when we go, actually turn snapping on would help. Uh, now it now snap to the middle of each of these points there. So that's cool. So click on there. Hit uh, kablunk, right hand click, do another one, click. So this is a bit more useful. I should be doing this anyway. So I'm, I am a bit slapdash in my um, modelling. I shall try and improve it in 2017 and all that. So let's go and select the polygon. Let's switch snapping on with the S key. Off, sorry. And switch the cut tool off. I'm going to select this polygon here. And we want to make this round. So we've done several ways. We did the loop tool way of doing it. We did um, adding a 2D uh, spline and then snapping to it. We've also got this one, which is called GeoPoly. So click on GeoPoly. That also makes it round. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's very cool, Stephen. So, yeah. So now we can do our really boring bit of an inset. Yeah, and then we can do a, a extrude. I'm going to do out this time. So I do want to do an inset. Hello. I want to do an extrude. Wrong way. And another one. And another one. And an inset. And another one. And that, my friends, is another one done. Woohoo! How cool is that? There you go. So that's part two done. Um, clippity clops and clippity plops. Pretty nifty, eh? There you go. Right, that will conclude that one. See you later. Bye.